All right, so you already completed the section on your T-chart entitled What I Already Know About Insects. We've discussed it, and now I'm going to read the book On Beyond Bugs, all about insects. And as I read this, I would like you to complete the right-hand side of your T-chart, What I Learned About Insects That I Didn't Already Know. You can complete it as I read it, or you can just wait to the end and kind of keep track of what you want to write. Enjoy. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait, and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they all have six legs. Spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. You see here the praying mantis, and the butterfly, and the ladybug, and the grasshopper and the black ants. Thanks, thing one and thing two. That's a spider. If you look at an insect up close, you'll see that its body is in parts, and each insect has three. First the head, then the thorax, and here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. Not very good at rhymes. Those aren't good rhymes. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name. And Tenny. Watch an insect and see the things that it does. Some can swim, jump, or crawl. Others chirp, flash, or buzz. You see the lovely diving beetle and the dog flea. Itchy, itchy, and the pipeline caterpillar and the cricket and the lightning bug and the bumblebee. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them, so insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some, like this wasp, have bright colors that say, Don't come near me! I'll sting you! So just stay away! This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon so no one can see it. Terrible rhyme. This spittle bug sits and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks, Nobody's home. Here's a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybug like one another? When danger is near, it is easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. Eeeew! These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong they can lift things that weigh over ten times their weight and they do it all day. So if you were stro as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up ten cats in tall hats easily. Watch these honeybees, and I'm sure that you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food, and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. 
First she wiggles, then waggles, in circles, and so all the other bees know which direction to go. Not a good rhyme. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in back of their knees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find, when they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. This is called pollination. And it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. We just got done learning about that. Yippee! Some insects, I know, can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Have you ever wondered, why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear, and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. Here's a good fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land, and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, and then one day they change. Some spin a small house on each branch just like this. And this home they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Here's a fat, quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights, and they float in the sky. And if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid. Watch them glimmer and glow. Then open the jar up and let them all go. Or take a whiff ball bat and try to hit them and watch them as they fly. Um, yeah, never did that. All day and all night... On the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. What a great story. And here is some definitions if you want them. 